hi guys welcome to my channel i know i'm looking a total hot mess right now and we are on our way to puerto rico and i just want to warn you guys right now it is hectic going to Puerto Rico because they want you to get all these different tests. I guess the update is um, you don't have to get a COVID test, I don't believe, if you already are vaccinated. But if you're not vaccinated, guys, I advise you to um, get a PCR test and not only get a PCR test, but then get a rapid antigen test and just make sure that you're backed up all the way through, all the way around. I know I have these Jamaica colors on, but I'm going to Puerto Rico. Um, I'm actually going down there to invest in a property. So I'm excited and I do look very tired and that's because I am. It is very stressful trying to get to Puerto Rico right now. If I could really have it my way, I would just wait until the time is right and until the time is less stressful, maybe even until I have more to provide. But I am the type of person I don't like to wait. Yeah, waiting sucks. and. I want to get what I want out the way and do what is calling me right away. So, anyway, guys, um, my name is Priyana. Um, I deal with an anxiety issue. And this issue came about maybe, I can say maybe about... I want to say two years ago, but I want to say it really started three years ago. And three years ago, I didn't know what it was. And that being said, I want to share with you guys my journey. And basically my journey and everything that I'm going to be doing to overcome this anxiety that I have with planes and traveling and just having anxiety period and what you can do to not be afraid of things and not be anxious and not be fearful and I want to share that with you guys I want you guys to know that you're not alone first of all because I remember dealing with my anxiety and feeling like I was alone and feeling like I can't conquer it and feeling like I never would and I want to share with you guys a story that I had that when I was going with my sister and my other sister who is a transgender, but she's better known as my sister. Um, we were going to Seattle, Washington and um, I didn't get on the plane. And I didn't get on the plane because this is not funny. This is really sad, but it makes me just furious that I didn't get on this plane and I lost so much money. But guys, I didn't get on this plane because um, I had an anxiety attack one time when I got on a plane going to Miami by myself. I have never been afraid of anything like heights or planes or anything like that. I've always loved being a daredevil, daredevil and I've always loved just adventurizing and doing new things but recently something happened traumatic and when you go through a traumatic situation and you you try to relive it in some type of way sometimes your brain won't let you so as I was going with my sisters to Seattle I had it in my mind that I was already scared to get on this plane. I knew that I shouldn't be thinking so hard about it, but my day was going wrong and everything 
was just moving really fast and I was just panicking the whole time, but quietly to myself. I asked my sisters and them not to ir irritate me, you know, because it, when you have anxiety, and I know some of you guys who actually have a real case of anxiety could understand that you have to be careful the things that you indulge in, your stress levels, what you eat. I mean, and I can go on and on, but those are the things that I wasn't careful for before I got on a plane. I just knew I was anxious. I knew I was scared. And I don't know why I'm scared of planes now because I never have been in the past. So imagine your whole life, you're excited to get on planes and then one day you wake up and you're not excited anymore. Yeah, the story is boring, but it's real. And it's interesting to those who understand how anxiety can really um, rob you of your life and rob you of living your best life and doing things that you really want to do and things that could grow you spiritually and mentally and you can't do them because you have that thing that is holding you down and holding you back and that's what anxiety does you know I can't speak for any other mental disorders because I never had those mental disorders but I have dealt with extreme anxiety GERD depression with acid reflux and you throw it all in and it is not fun back to where I was saying the tra traumatic situation happened before Seattle so Seattle was after the traumatic situation with me going to Miami and I went to Miami I didn't know I had this weird ulcer or acid reflux issue that caused me to have an anxiety again guys this is not something I was diagnosed with. I self-diagnosed myself because it's almost obvious that these are what the problems are. But if you wish to go to the doctor, please go. I am not telling anybody on here not to go to the doctor because by all means, go see a doctor. I wish that I wasn't afraid and had anxiety of going to the doctor. But unfortunately, I am not... A doctor type of person unless it's like a really emergency situation like so bad and in this case it was but I just had rather found a different way to help myself so anyways I did my research with with the type of anxiety I was dealing with and I came under up under GERD anxiety so my way there to Miami it was nothing. I'm used to planes. It was fun. You know, I sat on there by myself the whole time, but it was relaxing. I enjoyed myself. I slept before you know it. Boom, we're there. You know what I'm saying? So it was a piece of cake. Had fun, turned up, got wild, you name it. And on the way back, I turn up, got wild, got had me a few drinks. Okay, I didn't get wild on the way back, but I did have a few drinks at the Hilton. And I was ready to get on a plane. I remember just being a little drunk. This was before I knew how bad my anxiety was or my acid reflux, in other words. And um, I got on a plane while I was a little drunk or a little wasted, whatever you like to call it. And I felt like I couldn't breathe. And I panicked for maybe almost the whole two hours of the of the of the flight because I didn't feel good. And that scared me more than anything because it made me feel vulnerable and like I wouldn't have any help and embarrassed to talk to anybody because I was there by myself, had nobody to lean on, nobody to cry to. It was just me. And I just felt scared about everything and nervous about everything. And I was just throwing up. And I think it was just a hangover, honestly. And I just didn't have a good trip all along, along with, my, with my acid reflux issue. So I think it was a lot to play into it. But because where it happened, how it happened, it scared me. And I had no control over that fear at the moment. And that's what was scary about it. And I'm here to tell you guys, if you ever went through a traumatic situation somewhere, whether if it was at a house 
on the plane, on the train, on the bus, whatever this traumatic situation is, go to it. Face that traumatic situation, especially if it's not something that is going to hurt you. Go to that situation and look it in the eye and take back control of that situation. And this is what I believe that's going to help us with our anxiety. I want you guys to follow me. This is not one of those crazy videos with all the, you know, you, you know, I want you guys to really feel me and understand that this is something I really went through. And rather this big and small to you, anxiety is real and it is conquering people and I want us to win. So we're not going to let anxiety win. I want us to win. I want us to take over. I want us to go face those things in the eye whatever kind of eye it has and tell it no you cannot have me and don't let it have you and feel good about yourself be happy feel normal because this is why you're still here you're here to conquer you're here to live you're here to go beyond sky limits and i'm with you guys every step of the way so I have a company, my name is Protopia, my company name is Protopia, and it is a paradise that you create. It is your own heaven. And today, guys, we're gonna create our own heaven. And also on March the 3rd, we're also creating our own heaven, our own destiny. And we're not taking no for an answer. So um, I want you guys to follow me to the Puerto Rico plane, American Airlines, March the 3rd, and we're going to see if Brianna's going to kick butt. Pray for me, guys. I really want to get on that plane, and I really want to do my best. And I believe in myself, and I feel like I'm going to do great. And I want to encourage other people who deal with anxiety the way I do um, to conquer. Conquer your fears and be strong. And the the sky is the limit the sky is not the limit <laughs> no i lied the sky is not the limit keep pushing go beyond measures and protopia we love you guys we love you guys for visiting us and hanging out with me and talking with me let's kick anxiety in the butt bye guys My brother. Yeah? What, what is, uh, uh, I can look you up, man. We on the way, guys, to the airport. With our Uber from Cuba. Say hey. Uber? What's your name? What's your name? Edel. The morning's going great so far. Edel. Got you. Um, we're just gonna listen to some music and relax guys see you in a bit a very easy process getting through um, book, um, bag check um, they just ask you do you have your QR code um, they haven't really asked for the negative um, test yet um, I think they might ask for it when we get um, to our um, get ready to board so um, yes it's not a big crazy process like everybody was saying so I hope you guys um, can enjoy this trip with me. Um, I do want to uh, let you guys know that um, I am not feeling anxious. I'm not feeling scared. I'm feeling really good. I am having a great time. So um, again, just try to leave it out your mind. The only reason I'm talking about it a little bit with you guys is just to 
kind of share with you guys um, how easy it is just to let go, you know, and just let some things flow. And the best thing to do when you're um, have you have uh, what is it? Flyer, fright. You have it's a tongue twister. When you have fire fright, you need to um, pick an airport that's really calm, cool, and collected um, with the air conditioning. Um, as long as the air conditioning is um, really, really cool, and um, um, also need to let's see what else. Make sure you fly with a. Um, an airline that you're comfortable with. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry I couldn't get that out. I just want to make sure I give you guys some accurate information. Yes, fly with an airline that you're comfortable with. Um, bring you some music, of course, um, especially if they don't have Wi-Fi on the plane. Um, just have you some music downloaded and listen to something um, calming and relaxing your most relaxing music, nothing that's going to get you all jumpy and bouncy, just something to keep you mellow down. Um, and if you're feeling fearful, just feel excited instead. So that is my tips for today. Um, thank you guys for tuning in with me. Come back and see us where you create your own heaven. <laughs>